So a few weeks ago, I started a faceless YouTube channel with the goal of growing it using only AI to make the videos for me. That channel has been growing and actually getting really decent views considering it's a brand new channel. Plus, I've started making money with it. And this sort of got me thinking, can I start another YouTube channel in a completely different niche using the same exact process? So the goal for this video is to do exactly that. Start another faceless YouTube channel from scratch and grow it into a profitable long-term channel. And I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process from start to finish and show you exactly how you can do it for yourself. Now, in the previous video, I started a product review list channel and I'll leave a link to that video down in the description below. In this video though, I'm gonna start a channel in a niche that is extremely popular and I believe will make us even more money than the other channel. I'm talking about channels like this. All of their videos explore meaningful topics that are meant to expand your thinking. This channel and many other similar channels get millions of views on their videos every single month. And on top of the ad revenue from YouTube, it's also extremely easy to monetize these channels in the form of brand sponsorships. And you won't believe how incredibly easy it is to make these same types of videos for yourself. I mean, what's actually crazy is that these videos can almost entirely be made with AI. We can use AI to create the video script, we can use AI for the voiceover, we can use it to create the imagery in the video itself. I would say that around 90% of the entire video can be made almost entirely with AI. And there's gonna be no guessing here because like with the previous channel that I started, I'll be documenting the entire process of me getting the channel up and running with live results. And by the end of the video, I honestly believe that you're gonna be so motivated to go and start your own channel after you see how simple it is and and after you see my results. So the first step in this video is we need to obviously create the YouTube channel. And we need to do three things. First, decide on what type of topics and content we'll make on the channel. Then we need to come up with the name of the channel and then quickly create some of the artwork for the channel. For the topic and content, I simply ask ChatGPT to give me some ideas based on the channel that we looked at earlier. And what it came up with was basically that I should create a channel focusing on topics such as philosophy, science, and human behavior. This is basically what this channel and many other channels like this one talk about. And it simply works. I see no reason to try and reinvent the wheel. And so for this channel, we'll be doing the same thing. We can talk about things like, why do we procrastinate? Can humans ever understand the meaning of life? And is time travel possible? I also asked ChatGPT to give me a name for the channel, and this is what it came up with. Now, I personally really Really like this name right here, Beyond Logic. So I quickly created a new YouTube account and named it Beyond Logic. So that's done. And the last thing to do is create the channel art. So to do this, I'm gonna head over to a completely free website called Canva. And if you don't already have an account, you can create one for free by clicking up here on sign up. And then up here in the search bar, we're gonna search for YouTube banner and all of these results will pop up. And I really like this one right here. So I'll click on it and then select customize this template. And the only thing that I'm gonna do is delete this rectangle box and then change the text to say beyond logic. And honestly, for the banner, that's it. I'll quickly add that banner to the new YouTube channel. And then for the profile picture, I'm gonna head back into Canva and type in YouTube profile picture. And again, there are a ton of really cool looking profile picture templates that we can use. I need one that will complement the banner image and I like this one right here. So I'll customize it and the first thing I'll do is delete the picture and I'm actually just gonna keep this really simple and add in the channel initials here which are BL for Beyond Logic. And I'll use the same font that we used from the banner. Once that's done, export it and then upload it onto your channel. And that's it. We've officially created the new YouTube channel and now it's time to start creating the content. Now ChatGPT already gave us a ton of really great content ideas. But even still, I wanna show you a few more ways that you can come up with video topic ideas. The first way is to simply look at what other channels in your niche are posting about. And specifically, looking for the videos that are getting the most views for them. And there are two different ways that you can approach this. The first way is by clicking into the popular tab on their videos page and seeing what their most popular videos are. You can then take these ideas and create 
create your own version of those popular videos. Doing this works extremely well, and pretty much every popular YouTuber that you've ever watched either has done this in the past or still does it today. Something else that I like to do is actually head into the latest video tab and see which videos over the past like six to eight months have a spike in views. For example, you can immediately see that this video right here has over 600,000 views and it was just posted one month ago. This right here is what we're looking for, recent videos that have a large spike in views. And if we create our own version of that video, we can potentially capture the same audience. I've used this exact strategy countless times on my channel and it tends to work really well. Something else that I do is sometimes I'll actually look at blog or news articles for video ideas. For example, a site like medium.com is actually a gold mine for really great potential video ideas. You can search through the trending blog post or search through specific categories on this site and try and find blog articles that might intrigue you. You can then copy the title of this article, head into ChatGPT and ask the AI to give you a video idea synopsis about and then enter the title of that blog article that you just copied. The AI will then give you an entire video synopsis that you can then use in the AI tool that we're going to use to create the videos. And speaking of that tool, let's talk about that. So to create the videos, we're going to use the same exact AI tool that I'm using on my other faceless channel. And that tool is called NVIDIA AI. Now I'm going to leave a link to NVIDIA AI down in the description of this video and the pinned comment. If you want to try NVIDIA AI for free, make sure that you use that link. Once your account has been created though, you'll land on this page here. And we're just going to click on this option down here that says YouTube explainer. This box will pop up and the first drop down is where we select the length of the video. And for the length, I'll select 10 minutes. Now, if you wanted to, you can click right here on this custom box and type in any length that you want. For example, if you wanted a 45 minute long video, well, you can do that. Now, I wanted to really quickly add an important point about the length of these videos. You may notice that many of these channels have videos that can be as long as half an hour to 45 minutes long. And while there's nothing wrong with this, you can certainly do that for your channel. What's interesting is that based on my research, the videos in this niche that get the highest number of views tend to be within the 10 to 15 minute range. And I'm not quite sure that's a coincidence. Perhaps for content like this that requires people to do a lot of critical thinking, it makes more sense to keep the videos on the shorter side. So for my channel, I'm just going to stick with the video length of between 10 and 15 minutes. After you choose the video length, this next box is where we'll describe to the AI what we want the video to be about. And for this, I don't want you to just go and type in something like uh, make a video about procrastination. We need to get as specific as possible. So let's actually head back into ChatGPT and I'm going to take one of these ideas that it gave us earlier. Let's use this example right here. Why do we procrastinate? And then open up a new chat and we're going to ask the AI to give me a video idea synopsis about why do we procrastinate? And within seconds, it'll start writing out an entire video idea. We can then copy this idea and paste this into this box right here on NVIDIA. This is a much more detailed breakdown and as a result, we'll get a much better video. Next, for the background music, I personally find that for these types of videos, either ambient or like drone type of music works best. So I'll type in ambient comma drone. For the language, I'll leave it as English. If I click on the drop down though, you can see that the AI can produce your video in virtually every major language that you would want. Moving down to the video settings now, uh, for the voiceover, I actually tested a few of these out earlier. And the one that I want to try for these videos is actually a male young British voice. Now, if you wanted to, you could technically have the AI clone your voice and then use your voice in your videos. To do this, you would simply head back into the main NVIDIA AI screen right here and then click down here on explore all and then select clone your voice. And after following all of the instructions, you would then have the option to use your voice as the voiceover. Now to use the voice cloning feature, as well as get access to a ton of other features, including removing the watermark from your videos when you export them, you will need to spend a tiny bit of money on the paid version. But this is the only small investment that you would have to make to produce these videos. It's nothing compared to spending thousands of dollars on camera equipment and lights and everything else that you would need to start most YouTube channels. With this channel, we 
only need this one simple tool. Plus, if you use my NVIDIA link down below and then use code JoshuaMayo50 at checkout, you'll get twice the number of video generation credits in your first month. But anyways, back to this screen now, and I will not be using my voice for the voiceover on the videos because, well, we already hear my voice more than enough anyways. Next, for the subtitles, I'm gonna change this to don't add any subtitles and then click on continue and generate video. After about a minute, this box right here will pop up and you can adjust a few settings if you want, but if everything looks good, click on continue and your video will be generated. Procrastination isn't simply about laziness or poor time management. It's a complex interplay of emotions, motivations, and even our brain chemistry. We often procrastinate because we're seeking to avoid negative feelings associated with the task at hand, whether it's boredom, anxiety, or fear of failure. In the next few sections, we'll delve deeper into the psychological underpinnings of procrastination and explore practical strategies to break okay, free from so the in all honesty, this actually makes me very excited for the potential of this new channel because I think that this video is mostly spot on. Now, I've been using AI to generate videos and images and different things for quite some time now. And the one thing that I can confidently say is that AI is still not perfect. Even with this video, it does an amazing job of pulling all of the images and videos together. I think the voiceover sounds great. The script is really powerful, but there is still the occasion Occasional image or video that I do think could be replaced, right? It could be better. Luckily though, we can easily edit the video within NVIDIA. If you wanted to change a specific image or video, you can do this by clicking right here on edit and then click on any of the images or videos that you wanted to swap out. For example, I really don't like this image being used right here. And so I'll click on it and then I can either search for different images or videos by using the search feature right here, or I can just upload my own media. And that's exactly what I'll do. I'm gonna head into this completely free website called pexels.com, click on this drop down here and change it to video, and then just search for what I need. And I'll search for the word frustrated. Then once I've found the right video, I'll download it, head back into NVIDIA, click on upload media, and replace the image with the video. And you would just do this with as many images or videos that you felt necessary. Now, something else that I wanted to change about this video is the music. And specifically, the music at the beginning, which I think is a little bit too upbeat for the topic of this video. So there are two ways that we can change the music. The first way is by asking the AI right here in this box to change the music to be more serious and not as upbeat. And when you click on generate, the AI will update the music. Another way to change the music is by clicking on this edit button and then selecting the edit music tab up here at the top. And from here, you have much more control over the volume of the music, like the songs themselves. We can even look through specific songs and then use those songs within our video. But after you're done editing your video, you would click right here on download to download that video onto your computer or your phone. Because quick side note, in video does have a mobile app that you can use to do this entire process from your phone or tablet. But after your video is downloaded, it's time to upload that video onto your YouTube channel and create the title and thumbnail. To upload the video, of course, you have to make sure that you're logged into your YouTube account. And then up here, click on this little plus icon and then drag the video file into this space right here to begin uploading it. And then from this screen, it's time to add the title, the thumbnail, and any other information information that will be important for the video. But let's go ahead and talk about the title of your video first. As difficult as it might seem to come up with a good title for your video, it's actually pretty straightforward mostly. For this type of channel, the titles that will work best tend to have at least one of these four characteristics. The title is clear and focuses on big ideas that create curiosity. This could be a title like the most complex word in the English language. Most of you watching this video speak English, right? So English is a big idea. And so the title takes a big idea and creates curiosity with it. Next, the titles often touch on universal themes that target common human concerns that all of us deal with. Things like how to live a better life or philosophical questions like what is time or why do we dream? 
what is love. Next, you should try and make your titles emotionally charged. This means that when someone reads your title, they are emotionally affected by it. For example, a video titled, The Earth is Running Out of Time. That's a pretty emotionally charged title. Why? Because we all live on Earth, and so it's pretty concerning to hear that we're running out of time, apparently, right? And so that title moves my emotions. And finally, the title should have an element of storytelling, if possible. For example, this title here, the scariest thing about ChatGPT, no one is talking about. There's definitely storytelling happening in this title. The phrase, the scariest thing, immediately creates tension by suggesting that there is something unknown or overlooked about ChatGPT that could be alarming. This, of course, creates curiosity with the viewer because they want to find out what this hidden danger is. And this sets up a narrative of discovery. But anyways, if your title has at least one of these four things, you should be in good shape. And if you can do more than one of these things within the same title, then that's even better. But take a screenshot of this or write it down somewhere to save it for later because this is really important. Now, for this video that we just created with AI, I'm going to title it, Why Do We Procrastinate? This title touches on a very universal theme that literally all of us can relate to. And because it's set up as a question, the viewer can assume that the video is probably going to answer that question, which of course creates curiosity. Next, for the thumbnail, I came up with this right here, and I created this in Canva for free. Now, the thumbnail is an entire video in and of itself, but I don't want to leave you hanging. I would highly recommend recommend that you watch this video right here after you finish watching this one. And I'll leave a link to this video down in the description below. In that video, I go into great detail about how to create thumbnails that get clicks and possibly have the YouTube algorithm recommend your videos more. Okay, so the video that you just saw me post was technically posted one day ago. And like with any brand new channel, the views on your initial videos aren't going to be amazing. But considering this is a brand new channel, I'm honestly very very happy with the views on the first video. And with the help of the AI tool, we're able to massively speed up the video making process. And because of that, I plan on posting at least one video per week on this channel. But I really want this to work out because I want you guys to be able to see for yourself that it's possible. You don't need a ton of experience to start a successful YouTube channel. In fact, the beauty of YouTube is that you don't need to be a pro. Sometimes it's just a matter of having the right tools and honestly, the right mindset. Now, the goal with this channel right here is to actually try and grow it. And so I will be posting videos every single week. And at some point I do plan on making a follow-up video about the progress that I've made with this new channel that I just created entirely with AI. And as always, I encourage you to follow me along this journey and create your own channel. And if you do plan on starting a new channel, just comment down below, I'm starting a channel. And if you do that, then I'll be sure to go and check out your channel. Hey, if you haven't already dropped a like down below, for the video or subscribe to the channel. Please do both those things. It helps the channel out so much. You're amazing. I believe in you. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.